Hello, this is Lolly, and I am back with another Crafts Gone By. And Crafts Gone By is when I just talk about crafts, creative projects that I used to do but no longer do. So it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy them. It just means I've kind of moved on from them. Today I want to talk about quilting. I had sewn for years and years um, before I uh, started learning about quilting. Now, I this was something that I did that was born out of necessity. I needed something to hold my crochet hooks. And this is the probably the first time that I played around with batting. I didn't actually quilt the material here, though. So, I made this to hold my crochet hooks. Now, um, I don't have a tutorial on how to do this because, I, like I said, I made this years ago. I'm not even sure what all I did. But anyway, I know that Lori Noonemaker has a video where she makes um, something similar to this that she, she did. And I, I'm i trying to think. I think she had her tools in it. Um, I will look for that video and give you a link to that down below in case you're wanting to make something like that. But, I mean, this, like I said, this was so long ago, I don't even remember what I did. So then a friend... Um, was showing me how to make baby quilts or lap quilts. In other words, it's a small size. And so I got this because I thought um, you could see, you could put a photo of your work and then you can write in here. And this was before the age of me really doing computer work or having a cell phone. So this is a long time ago. So this is the first quilt that I made. Again, it's like a lap quilt or a baby size quilt. And I think I, I didn't write on there the dimensions I could measure, and I'll write the dimension. I'll write the dimensions in this video. Sorry, my light keeps flickering. So I actually own this one, and although it's not a baby blanket to me, I do use it as a lap blanket downstairs in the basement when I'm reading, because it's pretty chilly down here. So I did blue, and the backing is blue and white with ladybugs on it, and the front. This has itty bitty flowers. And you can see flowers and ladybugs there. So I thought the whole thing kind of really went together well. It was a very cute, fun project. Just basic blocks. My first project. And then when I had my leftovers, I decided to make one little coaster out of that. So that's my first set there. And then um, this one I made as a donation to... It was a daycare that was doing a fundraiser. So I made this one and donated it to their fundraiser. I do have some scraps of the fabric here. This is the backing. Again, you can see more ladybugs going on there, right? And this was the front where I cut the panels off. I really love this. I think it's so cute. So butterflies and flowers. Very, very perky. I love the colors. And then um, I began to realize that I was going to have to put more in here than just quilts and so I started crocheting some I see these were in 2004 there's a crochet baby blanket and I did this also as a fundraiser it was another organization that was doing a fundraiser and I donated that that was 2006 and then this one uh, I gave to my daughter it's kind of a fun size and then this is now back to quilting this is the quilt that I made for my first grandchild and I don't I don't know what happened to the fabric scraps to this one here, but I made another one after that, and here's the other one that I made, and this one is not in the squares. It's got a long stripe in between some of the patterns here, so I have this green color, this floral that's got lavenders and green in it, and that, and then this, so those are the main colors of it. And the back is just this, so that's the back. What's different about this one, besides the pattern, that it actually has this stripe running down the middle. Um, and I have two, I have long sections here instead of just, you know, regular squares. Is that I tried to play around with 100% cotton batting. And it was so difficult because the fabric just, it kind of stuck to the fabric. And I couldn't smooth everything out. And I was having a hard time because being a very novice at quilting, um, it was just driving me crazy. Batty. <laughs> so here's the two that I still have. Um, I love that they're machine washable. I love that they're a nice small size. If we have any little ones visiting, um, they've got an instant baby blanket, but also we use them as lap blankets in our house. I had also bought material to make one more for a daughter, 
and I end up never, never doing it. And now I can't even remember like what I did. I think the other day I ran across the instructions and I'll have to find those and see, see if I can still uh, remember. I never really had a desire to do the big quilts just because it, it uh, to me, the whole um, quilting aspect of it would be so difficult on my sewing machine. So that's it, everybody. Uh, that's thank you for watching this other installment of Crafts Gone By.